Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Back again with another GameCube rebuilding video. I spent the day out hunting today and picked up a few things. Some non-related GameCube stuff we'll kick it off with here. I stopped by EB and I ran into Remothered Tormented Fathers there for a decent price. It was brand new, sealed. Really wanted this game, so I thought I'd grab it. I went to a flea market as well as Valley Village today, and I got a couple of these, thing these things from Valley Village. I got Whose Line Is It Anyway? Uncensored, Season 1, Volume 1. I know, random. I really liked that show back in the day. It was, uh, these were all five bucks, so. And then, yeah, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Uncensored, Season 1, Volume 2. Random, but sweet pickups. Also there, I found... Superman the animated series. This is the series that was uh, based on for Superman 64. So I thought that was a pretty cool pickup. And then Amped Snowboarding for 360. Picked that up for five bucks. Also at EB, they had some cheap PlayStation 4 games. So I picked up Doom VR at the platinum price, 18 bucks. And The Wolf Among Us for 13 And I had a 15% off coupon, so I was pretty happy to nab those. Alright, on to the GameCube. Flea Market Finds, 20 bucks a piece. Freaky Flyers. Yeah, Freaky Flyers. This game is very rare. I had a heck of a time getting it my first time collecting this set. So... Fortunately, this time uh, it was a lot easier. But yeah, you never see this game around. 20 bucks. So yeah, I'm very happy to get Freaky Flyers knocked off the list. These are all complete, by the way. Also from the, the same seller to flea market, Summoner, Goddess Reborn. This game's actually fairly cheap in like the $30, $40 mark. But it's, um, it's fairly uncommon. So I was super stoked to pick this one up too, because it's one you don't see around. And finally, Groove Rider Slot Car Thunder. Holy cow, is this game rare. I think I didn't realize how rare it was my last time collecting the set because I got it locally for five bucks on a Virage sale, I believe. But this time, man, holy smokes, I could not find this game. So when I saw it, I was immediately like, oh, wow. Yeah, and it's super mint and complete. Um, amazing to get slot car thunder this early. Like, dang, very happy with that. All right, and slot car actually wasn't the best thing I probably found today. It's the best thing for me, but something else was there that I couldn't leave behind. A sealed Nintendo GameCube Spice Orange controller. Yeah, sealed. This thing was 60 bucks, which, like, yeah, that's flipping cheap um i'm probably not going to keep it like i've said before i'm just trying to focus the gamecube collection more and i want to stay away from crazy variants and big boxes and sealed accessories and stuff i just not have it i don't have an interest in that stuff anymore so i'm probably going to end up selling this or trading this and funding to get more gamecube games so but i couldn't leave it leave it there for 60 bucks like the last few have sold for a few hundred dollars and yeah, couldn't leave it. So good trade bait slash a flip. So yeah, happy with today's pickups. Got some really uncommon and rare games knocked off the list. So with that said, the GameCube hunt continues. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to follow me on social media. More information in the description below. Be sure to check out my other videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. I am the Console Collector. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until the next video, happy gaming.